Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nayara. I'm Brazilian mom of one little girl named Sofia. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I maximized this space and organized my living room slash playroom on a budget and five easy steps. Oh wait, no, sorry. Seven easy steps. So make sure you stick to the end to see the before and after transformation. take advantage of that wall to something similar to this on this side and take advantage of this space I have over here and this space I have over here so this won't be a declutter type of video since my daughter is only one she doesn't have many toys yet I mean there are no Legos and magnet tiles puzzles small figures board games etc all mixed up together in a huge mess but soon it will be here and I want to make sure I have a place for everything So to begin, she has plenty of books and we don't really have a place to display them. Besides that, we have musical toys, teething toys, wooden toys, stuffed animals to organize and have a place to store them. And finally, I want to free up some of these drawers for toy storage and toy rotation, so I need another place to store the video games and DVDs we have over here. I want to hide these two unused outlets behind the books. My stud finder picked up stud on each side. What I didn't expect was to hear to hit metal of these old electrical boxes, which made my work a little harder, but not impossible. Today, all I got done today was the shelves on the wall. This took me a lot of time because I need to find uh, the studs, the drill ran out of battery. So I got this done today. Cabinets on the wall and this will do it another day. Who doesn't love me putting together an IKEA item? I'll have these niches linked in the description box down below. My idea is to have a space out of reach for Sophia so I can store some things that aren't her toys. I know eventually she'll just climb the TV rack and reach out for anything she wants, but until then I'll store some of my things in it. It's easy to put together and easy to hang it on the wall. The niches won't match the studs on both the sides though. It will have to have one side on the stud and the other with the washers. Okay, since I bought this TV rack, I had a problem with the class of the drawers. I don't like them. <laughs> I think they make things visually busy and just don't add anything. It has no purpose really. So since then I was trying to find a way to cover it up. So here I'm using a chalkboard vinyl wall decal. As you can see, the vinyl can't be cut with a knife. Or well, my knife was bad. So anyway, I had to use a pair of scissors and my swing line to fix the edges for the first one. For the next ones, I used only scissors. Besides that, I'm impressed at how easy it was to work with them. Just make sure you cut the right size and use something, in my case a credit card, to smooth it out, not leaving any bubble behind. I also have this linked down below.
Now this I confess was my favorite part. Since we don't use these openings on the TV rack, they became weird empty shelves that are too deep and too narrow to work as niches to display or store books, toys, etc. It was really hard to find a box or basket that would truly fit here as it was meant to be. I wanted it to be clear boxes so we can see what's inside. And I found what is, in my opinion, the perfect solution for the IKEA Hemness empty shelves. I got these clear boxes from Amazon and it fits to perfection. I'll have it li linked down below as well. This was my first time using liquid chalk markers and I didn't know we have to shake it first and then press the point against the surface several times to get the liquid to come out. But once figured out, it was easy to work with. This can also easily come off with wipe, uh, baby wipes. Okay, I wasn't happy with the setup of the niches and I had to rearrange it before finishing up. Also, I really wanted a yellow one in the middle to be just like the other side, but I keep a lot of stock on the yellow. So, but I think that's it. Make sure that you give a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe.